So if you're anything like me, the idea of a guided tour around London does not appeal. Either you're walking around London in a large group of people, or you're on one of the open top buses, and in both cases, you're very reliant on the weather. And like today, it's currently raining. But a company here in London has come up with a very clever solution for people who prefer to go at their own pace in the comfort of something like this. This is called Yonder. Okay, so I know what you're thinking, what's so special about a smart car? Well, this is no ordinary smart car. This is London's first and only self-drive experience, and this is probably one of the smartest smart cars out there. Let me tell you why. This is fitted with a custom-made GPS system. It gives you directions along a pre-planned route and also gives you audio commentary along the way, telling you all these little details about London. The system is so smart that it actually knows exactly where you are and adjusts the audio commentary based on how fast you're going. So if you get stuck in London traffic, which no doubt I will today, it will give you that little bit more information about the place that you're currently in. Okay, so enough of me talking, let's actually find out what this experience is like. I'm very much looking forward to this. Have a look at any of the lampposts here. About a metre off the ground is what looks like a gold squiggle. Look closer, it's actually an ornate gold W with two interlocking gold Cs, which look a lot like the double C logo of the luxury fashion house founded by Coco Chanel. Legend has it that the second Duke of Westminster was lovestruck after meeting Mademoiselle Chanel at a Monte Carlo party in 1925 and ordered all the lampposts on his land to be adorned with their initials next to his own W. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Find a moment where I can actually on the right talk, is where London's I can't. Two hotels. If you fancy a bite to eat though, please be warned. Many hungry Londoners have arrived in search of a simple jam tart and left owning some expensive antique art. Not with my wallet. <laughs> I must say, this definitely beats sitting on an open top bus, especially when it's raining. Like, even going on a walking tour, as I said earlier, just simply does not appeal to me in the slightest. But this, this is comfortable, you know, this is, this is a city car, this is designed to be going around the cities. And yeah, I may not be able to put the roof down, but, you know, I'm sitting here in comfort. At the traffic lights, the road on the right is Bruton Street, my client stretching back 200 years. Oh, I've taken the wrong How right! Did your inside leg measure up to those of kings of England, US presidents, Hollywood stars, and titans of business. It's better. One afternoon in 1980, two Americans came into the store to buy a hat. A hat for a rugged action hero. A hat so critical to that hero's image that he'd risk losing his arm to retrieve it. Yes, those Indiana two Americans Jones. were Steven Spielberg and Harrison Ford. They bought a fedora for Ford to wear as Indiana Jones. And anticipating a lot of wear and tear, they ordered 45 more to use for filming. 45? Jesus of the Christ! Okay, so currently I am stuck in traffic. It doesn't seem to be moving very fast at all. So what I've decided to do is just quickly stop off and just briefly go over my experience so far. So other than the traffic, I've learned quite a lot of facts. I'm not gonna spoil anything because I think you should definitely check out this tour. Um, but yeah, you, you basically go around the nooks and crannies that you wouldn't normally drive around. So for me, I tend to stay away from driving in London, but doing something like this in a city car, in a car that's designed for the city, it's perfect. Yes, okay, like I said, we're currently stuck in traffic, but you know, it, you're not gonna get bored on this tour. There's always something interesting. And there's quite a lot of uh, witty banter that uh, they've added into the audio commentary. And quite a few times they've said something that makes you go, mm, okay. And actually they, they, they twisting the leg a bit um, but there are definitely some interesting facts that you learn along the way uh, so this is definitely a tour that I think you should try uh, if you've got a driving license even if you don't 25 pounds for a, for somebody to drive you around you know it's it's a great experience 
Um, but I've stopped off at a coffee shop. I'm gonna go get myself a coffee and then come back and hopefully rejoin this traffic because at the moment it's it's really standstill, as you can probably tell by the van that's next to me. Uh, so for now, I'm gonna go grab my coffee. Right, so I've just stopped off uh, to take some photos, really. I was gonna grab a coffee, but I think as soon as though it's already been an hour and a half, I thought I'd try and make my way back. Um, so, um, it has stopped raining, which means only one thing, I am gonna give something a go, and that is taking the roof down. Because I can. I think that's it. There's no noise, no nothing. It's just that that's it, okay. Right, so let's continue with the tour. So I need to press the play button. Where I'll become uniquely and that continues. Where people are different. Right, so it has just started to rain. So, oh god, it's coming down quite heavily. So, time to put the uh, the roof back up. Buckingham Palace. And you have to do this in two parts. Home, there we Britain's go. Sovereign since 1837, a symbol of Britain and her monarchy. Today is the weekday home there we go. of the Queen and Prince Philip. Ah. The balcony has come to right. represent the close relation. Right. So, uh, there is a slight problem and I'm wondering how the uh, the sat nav will deal with this there is actually a closure I believe to the right yeah the, the road to the right which is where it's telling me to go is closed so I need to go this way diversion telling me to go this way so I think I just follow the diversion signs um, oh god it's actually going okay this is going a very strange way but yeah, I'm glad I put the roof back up because it is now pouring with rain. By the looks of it, coming back to the start point, um, I think this is the end of the tour. Right, so there we are. Now the tour has finished. I just want to say thank you ever so much to James Captain, one of the co-founders. Uh, who's come up with this brilliant idea. It's a fantastic experience, so thank you ever so much. Fantastic. Pleased you enjoyed it. I did very it. much so. Cool. Uh, you originally did the audio for this, didn't you? I did, but it's no longer my voice. <laughs> We've got a professionally voiced now. Right, okay. So if you guys want to check out this experience, then head over to goyonder.com. Goyonder.com. Yeah. yeah, so you have all the price information there, uh, as well as all the other information that, that you might need. And obviously don't forget to follow Go Yonder on Twitter, Facebook, and um, Instagram as well. In the meantime, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, James, thank you ever so much. Pleasure. Thanks, Nico.